How to get more listings in real estate. My name is Leonidas Prestos, AKA the Nidus Touch. Everything I touch turns to sold. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you how to get listings, especially in your early days in your career. Now, some credibility behind myself. I've been in real estate for over seven years now. And last year alone, I sold 62 properties. And this year I'm on track to do the same, if not more. Now, things that I did to get listings in the early days, there's one that stands out the most, and I'm sure you're well aware of it, but you need to do it, is chasing other agents' listings. Now, in New South Wales and Australia, the standard agency agreement is 90 days. So you can't actually try to steal a listing from another agent unless that expires, and the owner can't actually leave that agreement uh, unless it expires as well. But what I would do is about 60 days into the campaign, if I notice a property that has not sold 60 days in, I would just introduce myself to the current owners and just say, hi, my name is Leonidas Prestos. I'm a local real estate agent in the area. Notice your property online, it looks great. Um, what I'm gonna do is, hopefully I don't have to call you. I'm hoping that your property is sold in the next month, but if it's not, I'm just gonna check in to see how things are. And then just leave it at that. Don't push for anything else, just plant the seed and leave it there. Now, if that time comes to that point, that's when you go in and that's when you go in for the close to try to book in an appointment to try to take the listing. Now, this is so important, especially in your early days, because these are generally the harder listings that take a little bit more time to sell. And when you have no listings, you've got all the time in the world that this in particular property needs to sell. Now I've got a great case study here, and it's one of my favorite stories in terms of you know taking other agents listings. And I know it is brutal, it is a cutthroat industry, but this one is called the Blue House. The Blue House, no one could sell this thing. No one, it's gone through two agents. Agent one, three months, no luck. Uh, agent two, I think had it for five months, uh, maybe even more, no luck. Now, that's when I started speaking to the owner again, and this was a tough one because he didn't want to go through it again. Like Two agents, who wants to, who wants to list their home with a third agent? But anyways, I weaseled my way in and I got a crack. I was on, and myself, not a listing on the board, I had all the time needed to sell this home. Now, it took me four months, but I did sell it. Now, that's great, but it's actually what came from this listing. The snowball effect from this listing that has helped out my career massively from the house that no one wanted to sell. Now, I sold the house for $500,000. During the four months that it took me to sell, I actually met a couple that had a villa that they wanted to sell. I then sold that villa for $510,000. I sold the villa that the people bought for 510 about a year and a half later for $565,000. Then the original owner of the Blue House moved into another villa in a suburb over, which I recently sold for $640,000. Then I met someone within the same complex that wants to sell their villa, which is currently on the market, which will sell for around the high sixes. And then the original owner of the Blue House referred me to his mother-in-law to sell her house which sold for $991,000. The original owner of the Blue House owns tons of real estate as well. Actually asked me to value quite a few of his homes and I'm sure something will result from that one day as well. But already that Blue House that no one wanted to sell has generated in over $3.8 million in transactions, which equals to $85,000 in commission. That's why it's so important to chase these listings because you just don't know where that one listing is gonna actually end up in terms of the snowball effect. And that's why you should always chase listings that are expired online. Now, if you like this content, make sure to subscribe. I'll be covering a lot more stuff like this. If you have any questions or tips that you want me to cover, comment below. And remember, if you're thinking of selling, give me a call today because I have the Nidus Touch. And everything I touch turns to sold.